Hello, and thank you very much for taking a look at our business plan specific for a freight brokerage. Uh, very quickly, I'll go through the document and I'll show you the financial model. The table of contents is automated, so as you add content, these page numbers will automatically adjust for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of your freight brokerage. And all of the charts and graphs that you see can be modified specific for the needs of your organization. Chapter two is uh, the financing summary. Uh, it shows how you intend to use the funds you're looking to raise. Chapter three is an overview of your operations. Chapter five is the industry analysis, which is current through this year. Chapter five is the marketing plan. Chapter six is the overview of your organization, uh, headcount and payroll, and again, you can adjust this uh, however needed. Chapter seven is the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement. Cash flow analysis balance sheet, break-even analysis, and business ratios. And then in year one, we break down the profit and loss uh, yearly, excuse me, monthly. And it's quarterly for year two and quarterly for year three. And the same with the cash flow analysis, broken down monthly for the first year, quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three. Let me just scroll back up. And here's the financial model. Very easy to use. Pretty much everything is done on this one tab. Uh, you may have noticed right away this dashboard here. This allows you to see in real time how any changes you're making will affect uh, everything else. And every, again, everything flows through all the other tabs as well. Uh, so for instance, let's change uh, first month's freight brokerage service fees to 60,000. As you can see, the dashboard automatically updated. Uh, and again, those changes carry throughout the rest of the document as well. Uh, this way you can see in real time any changes you're making. You can uh, experiment with different expense profiles and see how it'll impact everything else. From there, you enter in your salaries and your headcount, and out comes your payroll table. Your source of funds goes here, your use of funds goes there. And once you do that, out comes your profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, uh, those expanded profit and loss statements you saw at the end of the plan, same deal with the cash flow analysis, revenue overview, loan amortization table, your tax assumptions, your break even analysis, and your business ratios. And that's essentially it. This certainly comes with additional supporting documentation to help you through the process. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us anytime. Thank you very much for taking a look. Take care.